Welcome to Nutrition 101. I'm Dr. Ken Tudor, the dog dietitian. How much do I feed my puppy? Well, as you know, feeding children is complicated and feeding puppies is a bit of a challenge too. There's some important factors that need to be considered when feeding your puppy. The first need is they must be fed a puppy formula rather than an adult formula dog food. And the reason for this is they have different nutrient needs. And what's even more important is they need to be fed this special puppy food until they complete the entire growth of their skeleton. Now, different breeds grow at different rates and skeletal development is going to vary. So you're going to have to ask your veterinarian when your dog is at full skeletal development so you can change to an adult maintenance food. The other challenge of puppies is that they're growing, so the amount of food that they eat needs to be increased. Oftentimes, owners have a hard time deciding when to make those changes. The third challenge is that the number of meals that puppies need changes as they age. So let's get started. How much do I feed my puppy? The easiest way is to follow the directions on the label. There are certain things you need to know about the label to make sure that you feed your dog accurately. The first is that the amount of food that is suggested that you feed your puppy is for the whole day, not for each meal. So you need to take that amount and divide it up into equal number of meals that you are feeding your puppy. The other thing about the chart, it is based on ideal weight, not present weight. So if your puppy is chubby, you will continue feeding your puppy and keeping them chubby because you're using their present weight, not their ideal weight. Your veterinarian can help you with what your puppy's ideal weight should be. The third thing about the label is the instructions are for an eight ounce measuring cup, not a coffee cup, not a beverage cup, and certainly not a big gulp cup, or any other device you use other than an eight ounce measuring cup. Another thing that people don't know about commercial dog food is there's no standardization of calories from one brand to another. Puppy foods can vary as much as 200 calories per cup from brand to brand and 100 calories per can brand to brand. So when you change puppy foods, you need to change the way you feed your dog based on the new instructions on the bag or on the website. How often to change your puppy's food is a matter of somewhat guesswork, but I like to use five pound increments so that every time your puppy gains five pounds, then you readjust their total daily amount. How many meals a day does a puppy need? Puppies that are under eight weeks of age should have three to five meals a day. Five would be excellent, but this doesn't fit into most people's lifestyles. So find a compromise somewhere between three and five meals per day. Puppies eight to 16 weeks of age can be fed just three meals a day. And puppies at 16 weeks of age or four months of age can be fed like adults with two meals a day. There is an exception, however, for this group, and that would be the large breed dogs, like the Great Danes, the Newfoundlands, the Irish Wolfhounds, the Great Pyrenees, the, the huge Mastiffs. These dogs may need three meals a day for a lot longer period of time. So what I've given you are general guidelines for feeding your puppy. There is a more accurate way of feeding your puppy, and that is by keeping track of their level of fitness, because that way you know you are feeding them precisely the amount of food they need. What I'm talking about is a visual system of looking at your puppy from the top and from the side that tells you the level of your puppy's fitness. And this is called the body condition system. It is a system that has nine points. Points one to three are puppies that would be too thin and need more food. Six to nine are puppies that are receiving too much food. 
and they need to have their food cut back. We want to keep your puppy at a perfect four to five out of nine. That way we know that it is not only at the perfect ideal weight, but it is, is at the perfect body fat percentage. How do we know this? This easy visual system has been compared to very expensive x-ray technology that is used to calculate percent body fat. And this system matches one to one with that elaborate technical system. And so if you feed your dog and maintain them at this perfect four to five, they are where they should be. And why is that important? It's important because they will live longer. A 12 year study by the Ralston Purina Company took litters of golden retrievers and divided them in half. One half of the litter was allowed to eat as much as they wanted and got chunky and body scores greater than six. The other half were restricted in their diet and maintain at a perfect four out of four to five out of nine body condition score. Those dogs that were in better shape lived almost two years longer than their overweight litter mates. So if you feed your puppy to the BCS system and maintain that perfect four to five out of nine, you and your dog will enjoy two more years together forward to seeing you on other pages of the website.